Hey guys, and welcome to the Series 25 Summer Event Lab Dunas Rally Cross Circuit, which is A800 Rally Monsters and Modern Rally Cars. So technically, I could have tuned the Subaru to A800 for the first time and used that. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> but I can't be bothered. It's two laps of apparently cross country. Okay, right. Well. Here we go. Okay. What's that, a Mitsubishi? Has to be Snake. Uh, looks like a Subaru. Maybe it is a Mitsubishi. No, it's a Mitsubishi. And it is Snake. It's a Lancer. Mm hmm. It's probably going to kick all of our asses. I would expect it. Oh. No! Somebody's going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, well, it uh, got a little tap from Snake. Oh. They're blocking you there, Stoic. Just a bit. I was coming up on you guys like ten times your speed. They were. They had hooked you and slammed on their brakes. I stopped blocking, yes. It's a big jump in this. Uh oh, there's tubs, oh, there's a wall. Break, break, break. <laughs> Unless I was hallucinating. No, here it is. Alright. Uh, here comes this large jump that you were describing. Yeah. Uh, maybe if I'd actually driven this more than half a lap, I would have known what was coming up. there a little bit, sorry. Yeah, I'm afraid to pass you. No, well, I would be too. Uh, yeah. well, at least now I'm through the through the uh, through the track so I can say I've, I've driven it once. <laughs> Come on, car. Mush mush. But see, this is what I'm saying. As soon as you put him into a GM product, he goes berserk. <laughs> if it was a little prior to the uh, to us owning, I, I can't take or us. I can't take uh, GM can't take credit for this car. I don't think. Uh yes, they can. It's a GM car. Yeah. Op Opel really? was GM at the time. Yeah. Opel, oh, okay. uh, oh, uh, I think GM bought Opel in like the early 70s or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll take credit for it. Or if, it no, for it. because the Opel GT, I believe, was also a GM car. 
Uh, you know, the Opel GT, a European version of the Corvette. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Only smaller. And, well... And for those delicate, you know, European roads. Well, I know that you can have a shitload of fun if you put in a 2.0 engine from either the Opel Record or the Opel Manta uh, into uh, an Opel GT, giving it a grand total of 103 horsepower. Whee! But it weighs nothing. 103? Yeah, but it weighs nothing, so it's fun. Unlike, uh, what's the Corvette that, that looks good? That is it the C5, the 70s one? The wavy one? Uh, that's, yeah, it's the C3, isn't it? C3? Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I did an exhaust job on one of those ones. Holy crap. I mean, the, the car is glass fiber, but... yeah. Everything underneath the car is like industrial strength steel girders. I've never seen anything mm -hmm. like it. It, it it's, I mean, the, 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 they are girders because they got holes in them that'll fit a two and a half inch exhaust with room around it. Oh. That makes that iron bar or a steel bar quite big. And well, there are lots, lots and lots of those. That is quite interesting. But damn, it's a beautiful car. Anyway, the car I was using it for is. this was the 1984 Opel Manta 400. And the tune I was using was... And yeah, I'm not certain that when GM bought Opel. So please don't spam comments about you idiot. Because I know I am. Anyway, here's the tune. 159-915-580. And remember, as always, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it. Same goes for the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.